There's an interesting scripture we see in the New Testament where one of the guys that followed Jesus was being asked of someone, can you, can you take care of me? Can you give me some money? Can you hook me up here? Can you take care of my needs as I see my needs? And this disciple's response to this man was, well, I don't have what you're asking for, but such as I have, I'm going to give it to you. It's a powerful concept. And I want to kind of take this angle on it with you today. You cannot give what you do not have. You cannot offer someone a solution that you yourself do not authentically possess or have revelation or understanding of. If you don't have life experience to back up theory, then really what you're offering someone is theory or opinion. But man, when you can offer someone out of your essence something that's real, authentic, something that you have personally walked through and paid a price to know and to understand, then you have something of great value. I, I meet people often that position themselves as experts and they, they kind of manipulate the system a little bit and they want to, to project their authority in an area. But there is nothing like the authority in my mind of someone who has actually gone through something, actually felt the pain, actually had to go to school and do the deal, or maybe has the years of experience that is necessary to say, I know how to do this. Here's the thing, there's a hurting world out there. There are people that are looking for financial solutions, legal solutions, academic solutions. Our government is in great need of real solutions and experience and wisdom and leadership. Uh, we have children who are hungry and starving and hurting all over the world. We have sex trafficking, uh, sex trafficking. we have uh, human trafficking of other sorts. We have all these problems in our world. And I believe with everything in my being that you have the solutions that someone's looking for. It's irresponsible of us to have a solution and not bring it to the market. It would be very selfish and greedy and, and in my mind, just, well, as I said, irresponsible, unthinkable to have the cure to a disease and be unwilling to bring it to market and help people with it. There are diseases of all kinds, not just physiological diseases. There are people with all kinds of struggles and problems and mental and emotional challenges. There are business ideas that need to be brought to bear. There are so many things that need to be brought to the market. And I, I'm compelling you, I'm asking you to consider, do you have something that you can say to someone else, what I have, I'm willing to bring it to you. I want to help you uh, go through this experience more effectively, more uh, peacefully, maybe with less strain and less problem and less challenge than I did. I want you to learn from what I learned. I want you to learn from my pain, my experience. Listen, such as I have, give I thee. I, I come to you week after week on this program not to, not to position myself in some sort of a manipulative way. It's years of experience. It's a lot of personal pain. It's a lot of personal journey. And out of those experiences, my heart is to bring you what I have. I don't want to give you or offer you something that I don't really have. That's, that's like, that's fraud. I don't want to be a fraud. And I'm asking you to consider this. If you have something, it's time for you to come off the sidelines and bring it to the marketplace. We've been talking on the program about writing books, about publishing possibly audio programs or doing some speaking and those types of things. Whatever you have, it's not okay just to keep it to yourself. Such as I have, give I thee.